Number 49, repeat exercise 22.48, I think they meant to say, uh, but with the loop lying flat on the ground uh, with its current circulating counterclockwise from when viewed from above in a location where the Earth's field is north, but at an angle now 45 below the horizontal with a strength of 6 times 10 to the minus 5th decimal. Okay, so please review number 48 uh, because that works off of the, uh, this will work off of that problem. So here's the ground. Now we have a loop lying flat on the ground, okay? So the loop is flat here, lying on the ground. Now, it says that the if we're looking at it from the top, so pretend you're kind of floating above it, look, woohoo, right? And you're viewing this downward now. It says that the, circulate, the current is circulating counterclockwise. So for your perspective from up there, the current should be going this way, okay? So the current should be going around the loop like this, all right? That looks like a parabola. Should be going around like that, okay? Um, that would be counterclockwise. <clears throat> and, uh, okay, in a location where Earth's, Earth's field is north, but at an angle 45 below the horizontal. So now it's no longer pointing directly north, right? Because this would be horizontal, and it's pointing then directly into uh, the page. Instead now... You know, if you had to imagine this kind of vector that would be pointing away and into the page, it is now going to be pointing, um, what is it, a location where the Earth's field north, but an angle below now the horizontal. So these v lines here should be pointing now like down. I don't even know how to show that, down. Okay, they're pointing away and down now. So it's like you got this tail of the vector and it's pointing away and down. All right, it's a little hard to kind of describe here, but it's kind of like pointing down but not to the right like into the page I don't know how to show it anyway the important point is this that if you have and this is why helping you know you're viewing the prior problem this is the normal of now the loop and the angle then between this magnetic field here and the loop should now be 45 degrees all right that, that that's I don't know why it's not 45 degrees Celsius no it is just 45 degrees uh, in terms of angle measure that's what's important there okay so now um, what we're going to have to do, let's calculate now the um, uh, the torque, okay? So torque is going to be equal to the number of loops multiplied by the current, multiplied by the area of that loop, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied by the sine of the angle. So I think the prior problem, let's flip back, right? So let's see. Up oh, there it is, 200 turn circular loop. So the N is 200. The current there, what did they tell us? The current there is going to be 100. Okay, great. The area, right, is pi r squared, and that was 0.5 squared. And then the uh, magnetic field strength, uh, it changed. So now it's going to be 6 times 10 to the minus 5th. And then the sine of now 45 degrees. So what is the torque now on this loop? So it's going to be 200 multiplied by 100. Multiplied then by pi times 0.5 squared. Then multiplied by 6 times 10 to the minus 5th. Then multiplied by sine of 45. Make sure you calculate it in degree mode. So here we get a torque now of 0.666. Ooh, evil number. Newton meters. All right. Oh, I just got a chill. Um, right. So, okay. So that takes care of that. And then what was the other question? What did they say? Something about the... Was there any other thing? Direction of the magnetic? Right. So, oh, direction of the torque now. So here... Uh, pretend that we're going to look at two points now. I'll, I'll do this in blue. So let's pretend we're looking at this point. So the current here is basically flowing then, you know, to the uh, left. Okay. Point your thumb then to the left. Now the field now is pointing. It's it 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 it, it still has a perpendicular component into the page. It's hard to it's hard to really do this, but um, it still has a perpendicular component, and therefore it's still pointing though into the page. Right. So now when you view this thing, if your thumb is pointing to the left and your four fingers are pointing to the front, your palm now should be pointing downward. So in other words, the force at this particular point would be uh, downward. OK. And then as we rotate around to this point, the current is now flowing essentially to the right. Your fingers are pointing into the page and the, tor the force is now pointing up because your palm is pointing up. So. The direction now of the torque, I mean, I don't know if it's actually going to rotate. It kind of almost be like, because this is lying flat on the floor, this would almost be like levitating, so to speak. Um, but it should then rotate um, around like this. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if that made sense, but it's a little hard to kind of do this out on a two-dimensional page. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. All right, take care.